ladies and gentlemen. Boy, it seems like the news that comes out of the IRS just gets worse and worse and worse. But it is so funny how if they can't handle the job, they get to stay in those positions. But if somebody melanated is sitting on the job and they may not be catching on right away, oh, they must go. They're not getting the job. They must go. But somebody is sitting here working for the IRS, many somebodies, and they are always dealing with some huge backlog and you, the taxpayer, are always waiting for your money. Okay, uh, maybe they need a shake up because the people there are not doing a good job at all. So now you got the IRS tax return backlog swells to 21 million as Americans await refunds. You know, they're just getting close to the end of the backlog, ladies and gentlemen, from 2020. <laughs> oh man, they are never going to get caught up. The IRS still needs to process more than 21 million paper tax returns, delaying refunds for many Americans as the agency struggles to work through a backlog. The government watchdog said this week, national taxpayer advocate Aaron Collins said in a recent report that the agency still needs to process 21.3 million paper returns as of May 31st. A 7% increase from the same time last year when there were 20 million unprocessed paper returns. Unfortunately, at this point, the backlog is still crushing the IRS, its employees, and most importantly, taxpayers. Collins wrote in a report, these processing delays are creating unprecedented financial difficulties for millions of taxpayers and outright hardship for many. And see, this is why I don't believe they should be putting people out on the streets and destroying people's lives when you know you have not delivered for the people money that should have been back in their hands a long time ago. Although more than 90% of taxpayers submitted their returns electronically last year at the request of the IRS, some 17 million sent paper filings, exacerbating the pileup of returns. It is disproportionately older Americans who filed their returns via mail. As a result, some taxpayers who submitted paper filed returns had to wait an, un an, ugh, an unusually long time to receive their refund with wait times routinely exceeding six months. Some Americans have waited 10 months or more, according to the report. That's outrageous. The statement, the IRS disputed the tax return figures presented by the National Taxpayer Advocate, suggesting that the actual backlog is closer to 19 million down slightly from last year. How is that any better? That, that still sucks. Oh boy, the IRS is committed to having healthy inventories by the end of this year and continues to make long progress handling unprocessed returns. Jody Reynolds, um, the spokesperson with the IRS said in a statement, the inventory numbers presented in the National Taxpayer Advocate Report are neither the most accurate nor the most recent. The IRS announced earlier this week that it is one of, you know, they're trying to do what they call uh, processing all error-free returns that were received in 2021. However, the agency has about twice as many 2022 returns as normal that need to be processed. The Treasury Department officials told reporters during a call Tuesday, the result of directing employees attending, um, it, wow. So this is 2021 backlog which means they haven't even gotten around to all of the 2022s. Oh, man. I mean, 
this is a wreck. Wow, y'all. You know, it's amazing how some people get away with working like crap. Mm-hmm. But never forget all the people they let go on jobs on a regular basis, and they know they half-ass trained you on the job. Okay, because I've known several people that didn't even really get a fair shake, but they were escorted out the door. But you got agencies that function just like this in America. You got some, mm, you got some nerve. You got some nerve. Y'all, please tell me what you think about this IRS, or I'm sorry, yeah, the IRS backlog that is just being, you know, they're admitting they're at the very end of the 2020 returns and they have to start the 2021. So chances are by the time they get to 2022, it'll probably be like around spring of next year. And I feel sorry for people that have gotten evicted. Okay. And, in, and they're dealing with all kinds of challenges and they may not be at the same address anymore. Mm. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.